context, India and the UK must not allow the concerns of the movement to dominate their relationship. So India and the UK are um, they were having good relationships since a long time. Um, at this moment, some problems have been occurring due to the pandemic caused by the virus. UK and India they should not let the they should not let these problems create a distance in their relationship. With the with the transition period of the UK's exit from the EU ending this month, uh, Boris Johnson government is beginning to form up is is beginning to form up its part partnerships outside its region. And British and and British Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab's Delhi visit came with a came with a declaration of immediate and longer term goal for the UK in and India. So, um, UK, what actually happened is that U, UK had actually UK had actually it has exited the EU or the or the European Union, and because of that, now it needs to now it needs to develop new bonds between other countries, and its first step and its uh, first step was towards India. So, um, its its first step one considered its uh, first step was considered as this: um, the visit of the 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 visit of the British for, of the British Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab. Um, Dominic Raab had uh, he had he had come to Delhi. So uh, that's the, uh, and that and that was his first visit. And and when he came, he he um, he he, di- he discussed the longer term goals along along with India with our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Um, his visit was also to prepare way for the Prime Minister Johnson's India visit. As the chief, as the chief guest at the republic, at the as the at, at the Repo, at, at the Republic Day, and to invite Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the UK, to the G7 and the Climate Charge summits next year. So, um, the the visit of the the visit of the Britain Secretary Dominic Raab was actually a preparation for India, so that they could be prepared for the uh, for the Britain's next visit, um, which will which will be the visit of which will be the visit of the Britain's Prime Minister Johnson. Um, so Mr. Johnson is is uh, he is going to come next year on the Republic Day, and he he also invited Mr. Narendra Modi uh, to to the G7 summit uh, in which they will discuss in which they will discuss about the climatic changes. Um, Mr. Johnson will be first ahead of the government to visit India after the spread of COVID-19. This will also be the first bilateral uh, visit anywhere after Brexit, signaling the importance in India and the UK. Uh, Give to this chapter in ties. Um, so, actually, in the in the, in the period of COVID nineteen, um, Mr. Johnson's visit will be the first ever visit of a prime minister from a foreign country to India. So, this clearly this clearly shows us the bond between England between UK and India. Um, in what he called a ten year roadmap for relations. Mr. Rab discussed with external affairs, Mr. Jay Shankar and Mr. Modi the upgrading of the 2004 India UK strategic partnership to a comprehensive strategic partnership which will envision clo- uh, which will envision closer military ties cooperation in Indo in Indo Pacific uh, in Indo Pacific strategies counter terrorism and fighting climate change and fighting climate change. Uh, so um, as I said, UK will uh, UK is building a partnership with, with India. And and when the and and during the visit of the of the foreign secretary of Britain, um, Dominic Raab, um, he had, he had actually discussed some things with Mr. Narendra Modi and also the and, and also the external affairs minister, um, S. J. Shankar. Um, he has um, they they have discussed about so many things um, and uh, and they have come to and they have come to some agreements. Um, so from now from now on the the in, India and UK will work together on these issues. On military ties, cooperation in Indo in Indo Pacific strategies, counter terrorism means how to uh, how to defend terrorism, and also in fighting and and also in 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 fighting climatic disasters. Now, out of the EU, Britain is on a mission to secure free trade partners, and after wrapping up nearly twenty trade deals, including most recently with US, Japan, Vietnam, that that will take effect from January one. Mr. Johnson would hope to announce the start of talks on an India FTA during his visit. Um. So now that in British, um, as I said, uh, at this moment, um, the Britain is no more part of the EU or the European Union. So it it's it immediately needs to it immediately needs to find new trades. Uh, it it immediately needs to find new trade partners uh, for itself. So um, it has uh, it it has discussed with US, Japan, and Vietnam, and and none of them have apparently worked. 
so um, so its choice is now india so it has come to india and it has uh, and it try to and it try to build up the bonds or uh, or partnership with india the highlight of india's relationship the highlight of india's relations in the next year will be closer cooperation on the coronavirus vaccine with the serum institute set to produce and distribute the oxford astrazeneca vaccine in india and then as a part of the covax project to other developing countries so uh, in this year we have partnered with you with uk or britain and in next year we'll we'll be partnering with with several other organizations um, so in the next year we'll be partnering up um, to fight the to mainly fight the corona to mainly fight the coronavirus vaccine so we we are a part of the project um, which was held by the covax vaccine which was held by the covax vaccine vaccine organization and will also and will also and will also um, and will also be a partner to the um, to the astrazeneca vaccine which was developed in oxford um that turn that turn of a new page in ties stagnant for the uh, stagnant for the past 5 years due to britain's brexit preoccupation is welcome so um uh, as we as i said uh, the britain uh, as i said the great britain has just left the, the eu or the european union and it now needs to and it, and now it it needs to build up new bonds with other countries uh, and the reason why britain did not get this thought uh, before before 5 years is that it it was already preoccupied with some other things the relationship has failed to progress in this time despite visits by mr mr modi and former british prime minister theresa may um, so um, there have been many attempts in the past to increase the increase the partnership or bonds or ties between india and uh, india and uk and and uh, one example of uh, and one example of such events was that uh, the, the visit of the former the visit of the former british uh, prime minister um, theresa may and um, so from the past 5 years actually um, the relationship or bonds between india and uk were not escalating and this might be the time where they escalate as a result less important issues such as visas and fa- and and the fate of the future and the fugitive indian indian businessmen in the uk have not been allowed to dominate the narrative so um, now that uk and india are having a good relationship um, between each other at least for a sh- short time who knows um they have not let the issues uh, like the um, for, for example uh, there are some issues like um, visas and the fu- and the escape of the fugitives who are pre- who are present in uk so there's some type so there are some types of these issues uh, uh, with india but india did not let these issues from dominating the uh, from from dominating their relationship over the past year the mea had responded sharply to protests at the at the indian high commission in london over the article 370 move in jammu and kashmir and the citizenship act so in the past year uk uk has involved in several issues of india of the indian politics and even, and even the uh, at, and it even involved in the citizen amendment act this month it was britain's concerns about the farmers protests that sparked responses in new delhi about interference in india's internal matters so um, not only in the past year even in this year uh, as we all know the government had um, it has uh, given three new laws for the farmers and farmers were not actually happy with that and and this and uh, and this news and this news about the farmers had created a hazard in india and uh, and even britain knows about about this now and britain is now giving suggestions in india on what to do then india has asked britain um, um and why do you want to uh, india has asked britain why do you want to interfere in india's personal matters mr apps ex- explanation that sometimes intense interest from the british indian disopera makes indian politics a factor in british politics is a reminder of how closely linked the two countries remain so um, the problem with uh, the problem of uh, of britain with the politics of india is that there are several indians even who uh, even who, who control the who control the britain politics so a change in india even at least a change in the indian the in indian farming system um, could create uh, could create any type of change in the indian politics which are present in the britain so uh, from this point the britain should be very careful 
um, of the things which have been go of of the things which will be going on in India. A new chapter in their post COVID nineteen um, in the a new chapter in their post COVID nineteen post Brexit relationship would necessarily would necessarily ent entail the UK to be more sensitive to India's concerns and for India to be less sensitive when Britain expresses its concerns. So if we observe in this um, in this year. India was India is not being uh, India is not being that con uh, it it is not being that sensitive to other countries' news as it would have been in the past years, um, but a new change is that from from this year, UK should be sensitive of every move of India because um, a change in the Indian politics um, could could only mean a change in the Britain politics. Thank you.